Okay, so we want to deploy agent-centric outside of our agency, whether it's to a client that has their own go high level that's typical in the roofing or solar industry perhaps, or we have another agency um, that we're, we're divvying this out to or selling it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the external client package uh, through agent-centric. You'll see it here once you're on the enterprise plan to get the external clients uh, menu button. And once you click on that, you can get the external clients package, which is just a one-time fee to, uh, um, to get this package. So once we've gotten that, all we have to do is let's create an external deployment. And so we're gonna call this company here, let's call it uh, just test organization, it's fine. So we're selling it to uh, a company, in this case called test organization, and we're gonna create this external deployment. And so what this is basically doing is actually creating another admin portal, like technically another agency account that we as an agency own. Um, so we are able to manage their sublocation limits. So how many sublocations they're able to deploy to based on the package that they paid for through us. Again, this is for you know a separate client. That client may have one or two locations and you want to limit that just in case you know they take advantage of that. Or you have an external GHL user that is buying this through you uh, as a package and you know they're they're tiered down to maybe 10 sublocations or whatever it is. You can also um, limit their assistance, so how many assistants they're able to have globally throughout their account, as well as their message limits, because the message limits do actually count towards your personal message limits as an external deployment. So because this outside organization here um, is technically owned by you and is your client, their limits, their stuff will come back to you um, and count towards uh, your total your total billing. So. Um, one thing to, to go through before we actually go through, um, you know, setting up this test organization is we want to make sure we have our white label domain set up. So this will be under the white label tab. There's white label domain up here. We'll just set up a white label domain. Uh, in this example, I have closer.assistantcloser.com as my white label domain that I'm going to connect to agent centric for not only my internal deployments, which are my clients inside of go high level, but the external deployments, which are my clients that are outside of my personal go high level who have their own. So um, connecting my white label domain and all that is here is just putting in your domain, uh, grabbing a DNS record and then uh, connecting it. And that's all you have to do. Um, so once that's done, that's enabled, you'll notice that um, the sign up link will be completely white labeled to your stuff. And you're given this sign up link. Um, and what this is going to do is this is going to allow them to sign in or to sign up to their own organization, completely white labeled. And then from there, they would just sign into uh, what would be a closer dot uh, assistant closer dot com slash dashboard as their their main dashboard. Uh, but for them to just sign up, right, we're going to send them this link. This is the link they need to go to to sign up for their specific organization. So I have test organization here. Um, I'm just going to set their sub account limit to let's just say three. They bought a three sub account limit package through us. Um, we're going to limit that to three assistants per location. And then we're going to give them uh, maybe a thousand messages. So you know, they don't they don't eat too much into our message limits, but um, they have enough to get through their deployment. So I'm going to uh, tell them that I'm sending them this link. Here's the link that I'm sending. And then I'm going to go to an incognito browser here just to kind of show this. So I'm going to this is the link that was given, which basically is just saying, here's the white label domain, you know, closer assistant closer. This would be your business uh, domain dashboard. And then it's pre filling the company for them to sign up to. Once I go there. Um, it's going to show up and the stuff will be white labeled to you and they'll see login or sign up. So let's just sign up here. Let's just do Jordan dot, uh, W at assistant closer.com and, uh, I'll just do a basic password and then another basic password here to match that one. <laughs> okay. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and just sign up. Okay, great. So completely welcome to their own stuff. Uh, it's white labeled to closer.assistantcloser.com. Again, there's no mention of agent centric around here and it's very hard to come by, especially you know with integrations. Um, and this is because the name on our account is agent centric. In fact, if I maybe push this to the side, uh, it would demonstrate it a bit more. So let's say um, GHL agency and let's save that information. Okay, perfect. So we should see add GHL agency to high level. Um, so this everything's completely white labeled A to Z. 
And so what this is doing is you see they have their own admin portal. So this is how they would deploy to their locations, uh, very similar to your own, where they still have full capabilities to do everything that, that you as a user have. So they have support widgets, admin passwords. They can white label their own stuff to their clients. They can have their own resources. So um, they won't have a white label domain because it'll be white labeled to you as the service provider here, right? So uh, for their white label, they would just set up their logo PNG brand color, you know, to put inside their agency, to put inside their deployment. And then again, the, um, the custom menu link and everything would be completely branded to you as the agency. So they would operate under the exact same rules as you as an agency. However, you own this agency. So if I see up here, I see test organization portal, um, and then you see completely white label domain up top. But now with me as the owner agency, right? So I own this agency. I can now click into test organization and I can kind of remote into their stuff on my end to help, you know, for support or for management, you know, looking at their deployment, if they have any questions about their limits or anything like that. You'll also notice um, in here, they don't have a subscription tab, just like a direct user of uh, agent centric would. Uh, that's because um, they're your clients. You build them, um, you know, however you're billing them. We will have direct platform rebilling in there eventually, but for right now, uh, since that's not in there, you know, um, they'll basically just kind of, uh, however you set it, you're billing through Stripe or through Go High Level or whatever it is. Um, so that's taken out and everything uh, along the way is, is white labeled, right? You see the team, you as the owner of the agency, right? So you're theoretically the owner of test organization because you created it out of your agency. You're set as the owner and then the people you add, um, they come in as admins, right? The, the third party that you're actually selling to. And so they still have, you know, all of the setup procedures and everything that you do. So they have the connect to high level, connect, you know, completely white labeled. If we click into this, um, you'll see everything here. And again, completely white labeled. Um, they can white label their own stuff for their clients and their agency. They get their own custom menu link that's white labeled through you. And then everything operates under the exact same procedures as yours, yours does, right? The reason why we do this one is that you're able to get this to these people so they have something tangible that they can touch to deploy their own stuff, to manage their own stuff, right? Um, and then also to white label the OAuth v2, the listener that is actually installed into their high level. It allows them to kind of uh, have a full deployment, full management themselves underneath you. So you as the agency will be able to switch back and forth between your agency and your third party deployments or your external, de your external deployments and then them logging into their portal, which is closer, uh, assistantcloser.com. They can't actually go in and up out of the hierarchy. It's very, very similar to high levels deployment for the sublocations or subaccounts. Uh, it's the exact same way it worked here for an external deployment. And so this, again, is for people who are outside of your go high level. Uh, clients that have their own go high level, again, typical in roofing and solar industry where go high level has been pretty popular. Or perhaps you have a third party agency, a uh, friend of yours, or, or maybe even a client that's an agency of yours that needs to deploy this into their own high level. Um, there are some restrictions that come along with this uh, because we don't really support MLM structures, things like that. They cannot do an external deployment themselves. So uh, to kind of limit the hierarchy of like what would be an MLM, right? Where you sell to someone, they sell to someone, and it just keeps going, right? Uh, with the person at the top being the, uh, you know, that, that's like typical MLM structure. So uh, we limit that for if someone is actually an external deployment that's owned by an agency, they can't externally deploy themselves for that reason. Um, also, you'll see that uh, assistant snapshots or snapshots are not there. That's actually uh, just needs to be added for those people. So that's really the only difference is they will not have an external deployment of their own. They will not see subscription because that'll be handled through you. And then they won't see documentation because our documentation actually links to docs.agentcentric.com. So again, kind of going with the whole theme of being completely white labeled here. And they will not have access to uh, agent centric API, um, API keys here, which is uh, agent centric REST API for you know communication between platforms. Again, coming off of the whole white label thing here. So um, that's kind of the gist of this thing. That's external deployments. You just would, uh, if you have the enterprise plan, you just buy the external deployment package. You create an external deployment for the company that you're looking to create it for. So let's say Solar Ready or whatever the company's name is. This is their external deployment. We set their limits. We build them however we need to build them. And then we send them their own sign up link here. Uh, for them to log in just as we did here. And you notice even if I white label, let's white label this maybe with a, um, um, this is a, a picture I had from my thumbnail in a video. Um, and let's, let's maybe change the branding here too. 
So you notice that I've changed my stuff here. You'll also see the reflected changes here in your actual admin dashboard as the owner of that agency. And again, we can just remote into these two, uh, whether it's test organization or solar ready, whomever it is, uh, so we can help them with support, help them with their deployment, as well as being able to manage and do your own stuff. So I hope that's very helpful. That is external deployments with agent centric outside of your high level for external clients that have their own go high level or perhaps agencies that are your clients. Uh, that is how you deploy externally. And then how they get their stuff into their high level is the exact same as how you do it. They have their own custom menu link. They have their own OAuth. It works the exact same. The only thing that changes is that you actually own the organization and not us. It's completely white labeled to you. So I hope that's helpful. Um, external deployments now added. So you have internal deployments within your agency and then you have external deployments as well. So thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions.